Okay, so here we are with another quick tip or suggestions for the people who are having a problem with the new Adobe Essential graphics panel, uh, you know, 2018 updated. So today I'm going to show you a cool extension which will help you a lot, you know. But a quick note, I'm not sponsored or paid. As you see, this is the Motion Factory developed by Pixelplow. They made a great job, you know, thanks for and helped me a lot. I've been using a couple days, but before I'm gonna open Premiere Pro and answer a couple questions that they left in my last video. Okay, as you see, this is my Premiere Pro, and I had two comments, you know, asking me why Adobe, when I added to the library, as you see, if I give right click up to the library, whatever the name library is, you know, and duplicate. Honestly, I have no idea why Adobe does. So hopefully Adobe been working on this if the people be complaining. So hope they, um, you know, fix this in the future. Anyway, and so if I want to delete, there keeps the option to delete, of course. But it's kind of like annoying to duplicating, as I said, like down here. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Down here, as you see, I got duplicate those two files. Let me just go ahead and see. This is the main. It doesn't give the option to delete. But the duplicated, of course, gives the option to delete. If I delete, of course, and you know, and my library is still having the same, you know, it doesn't delete from my library. So yes, of course, I can delete the duplicate, but it's kind of like uh, a little headache, you know, to be deleting. You know, it will be nice just add, even if the uh, doesn't move from the main, at least don't duplicate, right? Yep. And another question was, you know, if I can add to the library multiple files at once. And the answer is yes. You can select uh, multiple, of course. You can select many of them. Hold it on shift, you know. Uh, let me just select like those. Right click and you can copy to any library as I said. The only thing will be, you know, will duplicate and you have to be removing the duplicates. That's kind of like annoying as I said. So hopefully Adobe you know, make sure in the future, in the future, just um, fix this problem, you know, or if they have a reason why they duplicate. So anyway, so we have no choice, I guess. Anyway, so going back to the site and download the extension, you know, from Pixel Flow. Actually, it's in the Adobe website. So you have to log in with your Adobe account. Make sure to log in, you know, and you will have this called Motion Factory, as I said, designed for Pixel Flow. And I really thank you for this, uh, you know. And so you you will have the link, of course, in the description. So you will have this link. You can go ahead and just click that link, of course, and you will have these steps. Uh, first, download the Motion Factory plugin or preset, whatever they call. I I think it's uh, plugin, I guess I should call. And then uh, also the second step is to download the extension managers, you know. And here's the link. And there is for, of course, will pop up this window. So there's an option for Mac and PC users, of course. And so when you download, you will have on the download folders, of course. And the download folders, as you see, I already have the Mushroom Factory. And also I do, I already moved to the applications, the extension manager, but it doesn't show in my folder applications. So the way to pull up is going in here and you know and double click and well pop up this installer so let me go ahead and uh, move up here as you see so we got adobe median core after effects bridge illustrator photoshop and premiere of course if you want to install an extension for any of those applications so i'm gonna check premiere and i already installed so the way to install but before you have to you just quit uh, Premiere completely, you know, make sure Premiere is closed and then proceed to install. Anyway, and so the way to install is make sure to go click install and will pop up and look for the file you have. In my case, I have a download folder, select and just open. I'm not going to open it because I already have um, installed. So the big issue and the biggest, biggest problem for me was uninstalling this or removing for Premiere was a really really headache after 45 minutes I figured out how to remove manually because and here it gives an option to select and remove of course we'll remove from this extension manager but won't remove from Premiere so make sure to keep in tune if you don't like this motion factor in case you just want to delete so make sure to follow this step and for the Windows user I'm gonna leave the link of course and you know and the path of course you can find and for Windows users so in Mac so let me go and minimize this 
as I said, if you remove from here, won't work. I mean, we'll remove from the uh, extension manager, but won't remove from Premiere. So the way to, you know, uninstall from uh, the computer or from the Premiere completely is going to, let me open Finder, going to go, computer, you, whatever the disk name is, and here, let me go ahead and if you open for first time, you will have like this. So let me go ahead and list. And you will have this, so you can, as I said, you can go your name disk and then go user, your name, or whatever your name computer is, and then once you have inside, so you can hold it on shift command period to unhide the folders and go to library. And then when you, let me just put this uh, columns and then library, go application support, Adobe, and look for this folder called CP. And you will have this extension and make sure you will have this and just make sure as you see all the content is inside this folder uh, you know motion factory so let me go ahead and move to trash that's the way to uninstall in Mac of course so make sure to follow this step otherwise you won't be able to remove from Premiere in case you don't like okay so just you know right click as I said move to the trash for the Windows users you can go ahead and manually can go ahead see programs file uh, 64 or 86 and then come and follow Adobe and look for this folder and you will have the same extension and just move whatever extension you want to remove. And let me go ahead and close, actually let me minimize this and close this so you already know how to install and uninstall. So let me open Premiere Pro, okay, once we are in Premiere Pro so you will have this. And you can go, if you don't see uh, the uh, motion factory panel so you can go window extension and you will have this. So make sure to check in, you know, and will pop up outside the, the Premiere. It won't be any of those docs. So let me go ahead. The way to insert any of those uh, inside of those panels, you know, you can go ahead and click down here and just move and slide, you know, just drag and drop. And you will have this. So here we are, the Motion Factory. The cool thing of this extension is this uh, button down the bottom. It gives an option to import, you know, the cool thing, as I said, you can import the folder or you can import files one by one. If I want to import the whole folder, so you can just click right here and look for your folder, whatever you have. So let me go ahead and look for my folder I have in here, as I say, I'm working. So it will be um, next week, maybe on my site. And you see, you can import the whole folder, not just one by one, like we used to do. And here it's kind of like a little heady. And also I have a video you can check how to install the, the multiple files, you know, at once. So, and this is the call of this, you know, you can go ahead and import the whole folder or just import file one by one. So the, another thing is, let me go ahead and see, let me just open this. As I say, you can create also gives the option to create a folder up here, you know, as you see, and also gives the option to remove. So let me go ahead, right click, and gives the option to rename, of course, and remove. And then we can go ahead and also double click in here. And you can just, uh, I will be, I mean, and the better version, I had the better version for some reason it doesn't show. Let me show you which version I'm using. Actually, I'm using the better, the better version, but for some reason it's not showing the slider in here. I saw the slide before, but uh, anyway, they have, but in case you want to, make a little smaller thumbnail so you can just click this uh, minus icon, you know, and this for uh, making it a little bigger, you know, and then, and also in the future, I would like to have, I don't know if, I mean, it's a, just a suggestion for the Pixflow. In the future, I would like to have, like we have in the libraries, this option to have a thumbnails or to have a list, as you see, in case the name is a little longer, so you will be able to read. If you, we have a, as a thumbnail, we are not able to read the long, the long names, you know, and uh, of course, uh, Adobe also took that option off. And, you know, and even if we go panel series, it doesn't give that options, you know. And another thing, I don't know if it's my computer or it's my Premiere Pro. So in case when you select this uh, motion factory panel, if I hit the uh, tilde key, you know, opens uh, right away. If I go back and select the uh, timeline and just, uh, you know, hit the tilde the key opens, of course, if I close, if I go back to my motion factory, it doesn't open, you know. So it's kind of like a little annoying, you know, because you have to be here, open again, then go back in here. And for some reason, you see the sound, it doesn't open. So I have to go back in here, open again, 
close and then go back in here mm -hmm. so th even doesn't mm -hmm. give it an option sometimes so that's the uh, i don't know if it's my premiere or let me go ahead in here i don't have any problem with this so you see i can open or close but if i go in here open close but if i open this again close and doesn't work that mm -hmm. anymore as you see so that's the little problem as i said in case they are looking for pixel plot of course looking for this problem so you can just make sure and and find out what's the what's the problem with and also as i said i would like to have a list uh, option also not just thumbnails in the future so hope they've been working on and yep in the cool th and the good thing as i said is uh, you know this also let me go ahead and show you let me just select this on the timeline and gives an option you know this nice we have all the colors uh, of this um, motion template so it gives an option to change the color so you can just hover the mouse over and you will be uh, you know able to change any color you like as you see you can change anything as you see it gives an option of course it gives the name I mean and you can change any color you like uh, you see and that's the way and looks much nicer than the default and uh, you know Adobe Premiere Pro default uh, settings or edit panel so hope you guys like it make sure to keep in tune and make sure to subscribe in my two youtube channels english and spanish and make sure to keep in tune for the next week we'll be uploading more uh, motion templates some of them will be free and some of them will cost a little bit anyway so hope you guys like it and see you next week